Harry Balsar's autism means making new friends doesn't come easy, but this popular pastime is proving to be a game changer. How often do you play Minecraft? A lot. A lot. <laughs> the 11 year old is part of a pilot study led by the University of Adelaide investigating if playing Minecraft with other kids can improve social skills. It was actually pretty fun, like we found out new things and like each memory we got uh, and like, you know, uh, ideas we have, we share it with others. They showed that the children did um, enjoy making, talking to each other, making friends with each other, um, coming to the sessions. A welcome sight for mum, Kanari Pausa. It was like um, a safe environment and they're allowed to do mistakes and no one is there to judge them. A larger study funded by the Channel 7 Children's Research Foundation is also underway. Researchers are hoping it could help formalise gaming as an affordable tool for families. Minecraft is what's known as a sandbox game where players create goals and build almost anything imaginable. Researchers believe immersing themselves in this virtual space will give autistic children more confidence in the real world. There's no rule to play it. You can play it however you want. You can build things. It's like it's a digital block sort of game. You can build things in it and being as creative as you want. While the findings fly in the face of health advice encouraging children to spend less time in front of their screens, Researchers say moderation is key. There is a time limit that you should put on it, you know, like you don't want to be just doing this for the whole day. Ashley Kanowski, 7 News.